What's up everyone, I'm Dead Inside and today I wanted to speak briefly on what Kathy Wood had to say in her latest tech bubble sell-off video. Some stocks that she was talking about that really jumped out at me after they've been hit so hard, how much money they're making and kind of the price points that she's been getting in and how much they've still gone down. And also I wanted to talk briefly on the CPI report, what this professor of finance had to say, Jeremy Siegel, and the stocks and themes that we should really be focusing on. So Jeremy Siegel was saying earlier today that all these numbers point upwards. Energy was minus 4% in that December figure. It's not going to be minus 4.4% in the January figure. Everything is pointing upward. The Fed is going to have to be far more aggressive than certainly what they thought last year. And in my opinion, far more aggressive than what the street thinks this year. I think it's too much money. I mean, we, and you have a 35% increase since March of 2020, something that we have never seen before. When 2020 money growth exceeds anything in our 150-year history that we have money growth. 2021 was 15% money growth. Um, this is way too much money. A lot of commodities are kind of waking up here, but these gold miners ETF up 5%. In the last five days, 5% uh, juniors ETF. And then this small cap that I told you guys about, up 10%. It's up about 11% since I told you guys about it. And I'm also going to let you know if I'm selling now. I feel like this is still a stock that kind of checks off his criteria for stocks that pay a dividend, stocks that are increasing their cash flows. Again, please always do your research and DD. It's not investment advice, just watch list advice. But you can see here that when I talk about stocks and something goes up 10% because I'm seeing some people ask me, is it too late to get in? I'm still holding this stock because if gold truly breaks out, then it can run it can run a lot further. I don't want to say hundreds of percent, which is true, but I just don't want to be that bullish. I, w I just want you guys to know that the whole purpose of this channel is for you guys to make money. So when a stock is up, let's say even 10%, that's really good. It, you know, when you're looking at Amazon, for the year, Amazon is up 4%. Walmart, I think it's down in the last year, 2%. So never be afraid to take profits because there will always be another stock. And I'm just trying to get into stocks that are hopefully at the bottom and then we can all win from them. And they have the potential to run much longer depending on the narrative, but that can all change uh, on the drop of a dime. So you have to always kind of keep your ear to the ground when you're holding these super speculative stocks. But before I talk about what Kathy Wood had to say that I found really interesting, I thought it was pretty cool that Morgan Stanley sees Rocket Lab stock climbing more than 50% as a SpaceX alternative. I love to see that we're seeing these big investment firms kind of keeping their eye now on uh, these space companies. And I feel like it's a matter of time before ASTR gets the same amount of love once they're more successful. And a reminder, I told you guys this already, but set the notification for Astra. They're gonna be announcing their next launch really soon. Watch my video yesterday if you wanna know how much I spent uh, buying the dip. It was a lot, doesn't mean anything. This can go to zero, but just get ready. Set the notifications and get the uh, Twitter app so you can see what happens when they announce the next, uh, if they respond to the short allegations and when they announce their next launch. But this is just an indicator to show you that we are so early in this space sector. Another thing very briefly that I wanted to talk about, because I've been talking about Alibaba and how Charlie Munger has been really buying the dip heavily, but a lot of people are saying now that Alibaba might finally be making a reversal. Charlie Munger is Charlie Munger for a reason, but Alibaba right now is almost the poster child for the phrase, buy when others are fearful. So I'm a little late to this video. I know it came out January 7th, but I finally had a chance to watch it. I almost feel like she's trying to short Ford because she has this whole arc on steroids short ETF potentially coming out that they're trying out with the staff members at ARC. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's some big automotive companies in that uh, ETF. So really watch this video if you're interested. Towards the end, she starts talking about it. Where the, yeah, and it's called Where is the Real Bubble? She made some comments about uh, Teladoc and Zoom that I really wanted you to hear. I don't know if this is true. I'm, I'm assuming that Market Rebellion on Twitter is is saying the right thing, but Kathy Woods, Ark Invest added 320K more shares of Hood. This was yesterday. Ark now holds more than 22 million shares at an estimated average cost of $33. Some of these are gonna bounce soon, so get ready. I mean, it could be a dead cat bounce or uh, what do they call it, a fake bull rally. 
I forgot there's another term. I forgot what it's called. But regardless, I mean, these are getting hit. She spent 33 million on 100, I'm sorry, 130 million buying Zoom stock in November, on November 24th, after the stock dropped 15% in one day on November 24th. Look at this. On November 24th, it was 208. Then we saw a light bounce. And then, oh, this thing is now down 22% more. It's, it's 170 now. She talked about Zoom and she talked about Teladoc. And so check this out. Let's see if you guys think this is going to bounce pretty soon. Teladoc has about $2 billion, uh, $2 billion in sales. Its revenues have gone up fourfold uh, since the beginning of the coronavirus. Yes, she talked about Teladoc and then, and I thought, hey, that's pretty cool, fourfold. We believe, or, or Zoom's uh, revenue growth is going to accelerate from there. Um, I gave you a Zoom. Its revenue, sorry, is up six and a half fold. Six and a half fold since the beginning of the pandemic. And she's just saying that these are real companies. These, this is not, that's why she keeps saying there's no bubble. And people are like, what are you talking about? And she's like, there's no bubble because some of these have already been cut in half, more than half. And I, I really like the idea of Teladoc. Zoom, I get it. I, I mean, look, it's revenue is, is going up and she's assuming it's gonna continue. If you're a long-term investor, then really put these on your radar, put these on your watch list because I think some of these are gonna do really well. I would think maybe Teladoc would do better than Zoom long-term, but I could be wrong. But yeah, just trying to give you these quick daily updates and reiterate this theme that I keep hearing, value stocks, cyclical stocks, stocks that pay a dividend and how they're inflation proof according to uh, qualified people and what Kathy Wood is looking at. I mean, she's buying the dip, 130 million, or you saw what she had with uh, Hood, average cost 33 and it's 16 right now. And she's all about the wallets, FYI. It's all about the wallets with crypto. That's the catalyst that she's hoping will uh, bring more money to Robinhood, let's say, for lack of better words. And also with Zoom, I mean, 130 million. I really don't know if that's a lot for her, but that seems like a lot to to buy in one day and it to only go down another 20%. That is, wow. The guys buy low, sell high. These still could drop another 20, 30%, but it's an exciting time. These are going to bounce, in my opinion, sooner than later. And if I didn't say it already with G-O-R-O, -O, I'm still holding it. I think that it can still run a lot longer, but I'm playing a different game. Just take profits whenever you feel like it. And there's always another ticker. Just, just make money, guys. That's the most value I want to provide to you is not give you a lot of noise. Just give you direct tickers. Buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell, make money or hold them long. I want that. I want you to have the potential to do both. But when something's up almost 12% in a couple of days, that's a huge win. So I just wanted to remind you guys about that. But I'm still holding GORO because it would be great if we could see some 50%, 100% return. But these can always go to zero. So please do your own research. And I'll see you in the next video. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Peace.